Hey everybody, I'm back and uh, we're going to make a special for my nephew, Joe West. He requested that I make a corn and shrimp soup. So that's what we're going to do today, but we're not going to use nothing from the can. We're going to use fresh corn. I'm going to make my own cream star corn and I'm going to show you everything. We're going to be right back and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Okay, here we are. And I got this little tool here from my sister-in-law, Dinky. One time when she visited us from Georgia. And what you do is, you take your corn and you just slide it on there like that. And it pulls all of the kernels off, including the juice. Really neat little tool, and it's fast. You don't have to use a knife. You just kind of do it like that. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. That's all fresh corn here, and that's what we're going to use. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got all my corn pulled off of the cobs, and we're going to dump all that in here. We're going to make our corn, cream corn. Okay, I got two tablespoons of butter already heated in the pan. We're going to get that up a little bit more. We've got to watch it though. You don't want to burn your butter. Now we're going to put a cup of cream in here. Alright. You've got to keep that stirring so you don't burn it. And what we're going to do is, we're going to add about a tablespoon of sugar, or a little bit less. Just a little bit less of a tablespoon. And we're going to take a teaspoon of white pepper. That's right. We'll make that spicy. Okay, what white pepper does is not like black pepper. See, white pepper is going to be a little spicy, but you taste it in the back of your throat. And it's going to be real good. Okay, now we're going to bring this up to a ball, a light ball, because we don't want to burn that milk and that butter. And, uh, We'll be right back. I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, we're back. And this has been cooking for about 15 minutes on low simmer. And what I'm doing is I'm mashing many of them kernels as I can, like that. Just kind of turn your pot, mashing with your spoon. And you can see how thick it's starting to get. Okay, right at this point, I mixed uh, a half a cup of milk and one tablespoon, uh, one teaspoon of uh, cornstarch as a thickening agent. I'm going to put that in there and we're going to thicken this up. Okay, that needs to go for about another 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, there you have it. Homemade cream style corn from fresh corn. Nice and thick. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put this on the side in a bowl for our shrimp and corn soup that we're gonna make. And you could actually make this and eat it as a meal. I mean, you know, with a meal. <clears throat> I'm going to have to test that to see how it came out. Oh yeah. Not perfect. Can't get no better than that. The can ain't that good. Okay everybody, I'm back and I got about four tablespoons of butter in here with a little bit of olive oil so the butter don't burn. It works up to a little bit higher temperature without burning with the olive oil. Now we're going to throw in our onions first. Then we're going to throw in our bell pepper. I like to use red bell pepper. Give a little bit of color. Okay, green onions. That's like one bunch chopped up. Four toes of garlic. Diced up. 
and probably about five or six tablespoons of uh, curly parsley diced up. Okay, now we're going to let that wilt all down in that butter and uh, we'll come right back for the next step. Okay, that's been cooking for about 10 minutes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our petite diced tomatoes and a half a can of tomato sauce. Okay. Now we're going to take about a, let's see, a teaspoon of kosher salt. ingredient right there. Crab ball. A good teaspoon of that. Okay, now we're gonna let that cook for a few more minutes. About another 10 minutes on the low like this. We'll be right back. Those vegetables have been getting happy for about 10-15 minutes on low. Now we're gonna add our corn. That's our Homemade cream style corn. All right. Now we're going to add the rest of our whole kernels that I took off the cobs. Altogether, I used about nine. Yeah, I did. I used nine ears of corn. Okay. I'm going to stir all of that up and we're going to let that simmer for about another 10 minutes. Let it all get happy. See all them vegetables and them corn right now they're saying, where's the shrimp, where's the shrimp? Don't worry, you're going to get the shrimp. It's coming. First, you're going to have to work together for a little while and simmer. And we'll be right back. All right, we got it balling, and it's all happy. Now we're gonna add four cups of boiling water and two bay leaves. Get that all mixed up. And let that cook for about another 20 minutes. We'll bring it up to a boil. And let it get happy, happy, happy. Alright. Here we are. It's getting there. I'm ready for the shrimp now. I got three pounds of shrimp. Now these shrimp were like 19 to 21 per pound. So I cut them up. I'm going to let that cook there like that for about another 20 minutes, okay? A little 20 minute magic. Man, I tell you what, that's going to be good, man. I know Joe West is licking his lips right now, boy. He's saying, man, I wish I was at Butcher's house. Okay. It's finished. Been cooking for about another 20 minutes, and uh, I'm going to have to try some of this. Tell you what, man. This is a good dish. Look at all them shrimp and corn up in there, boy. <laughs> That's going to be delicious. Well, it's all done. And all I can tell you, Joe West, is eat your heart out, man. <laughs> Look, go to the store, get the ingredients, and make you some. Because I know you used to like it at my house when you come over, when you was a kid. So look, this stuff is delicious, man. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's perfect with that crab ball and that, that white pepper, just right. Well, I want to give a special thanks to my sister-in-law, Dinky, for giving me that shucking tool with the corn. That thing is awesome. I love it. I got a couple of friends coming over here in a couple of weeks from uh, Tennessee, Alan and Denise. So I'm going to save some of this for them. They're going to get to eat that. 
So anyway, I just want to tell you, Joe West, if you got an iPhone, you can download that app, Taste Division. Then while you watch this video, you can see how good it is. <laughs> Y'all got to try it.